Ooh, pretty. I like how shiny the sun is. That's the second hole I've put in this cabin so far. Hi. Listen, I'm sorry. I didn't know you had feelings, okay? Um, okay. I forgive you. Oh, really? Great! Hey, who are you? My name's Bella. What's yours? I'm Curtis. Sorry, I thought you were a tree. Have you always talked to trees, Curtis? No. They only started talking recently. How can I cut down trees when they're screaming at me? Maybe you shouldn't cut down trees then. But I'm a woodworker. If I can't cut down trees, where will I get my wood? What are they screaming at you? All kinds of really personal insults, like really over the line type stuff. It's been rough. But the worst part is not having any wood to build stuff with. So you're a woodworker. Could you make me something? Like what? A weapon to kill Mogchatra? That dude is a bummer. But I don't think I could make something that powerful. How about a nice three-legged stool? Hmm, yeah. I haven't done a stool in so long. Okay, make me a stool. I'd love to. If only I had some wood. Listen, about that big mess upstairs. Oh, did another tree fall on my roof? Uh, yeah, that's it. A tree fell on your roof. That's cool. I needed a little fresh air in here anyway. Been kind of cooped up for too long, you know? Will you help me kill Magchathra? Sorry, conscientious objector. But I'm not using my axe. You're welcome to it. Ooh, think I could kill Mog Chathra with that? Oh, well, <laughs> no. I really don't think anything could kill Mog Chathra. Catch you later, Curtis. Beware the trees. I feel like I should get to know that guy before I steal his art. You using this axe? Not until those trees stop talking. Okay then. Please don't tell the trees I'm in here, okay? And when you hit the main trail, head east. There is an extremely territorial snake in the other direction. Gotcha. Wait, east? Or was it west? Meh. This guy hasn't gotten mail in a while. Okay, which one of you trees has been bugging Curtis? Hmm, they don't seem too chatty to me. Wait, is this east? West? Hey! Uh, uh, let go! Okay, so do not go that way. Got it. Okay, now I see why the trees were freaking him out. It's trying to say something, but doesn't have a mouth. Hello, Shell Mound. Looks like Mob Chathra hasn't gotten here yet. Excuse me, uh, Mayor? What? Mayor? Why did you say that? 
because you look like a mayor. Hmm. I have to admit you're not the first person to tell me that. But alas, I am merely Maiden's Feast Marshal Dune, a humble man of the people, for now. I need to enter the Maiden's Feast. Child, at this point, we may not even have a Maiden's Feast. <laughs> not that you have the right scent for it anyway. Are you saying I smell bad? Oh, heavens no, child. You smell like birthday cake and fluffy clouds. With a hint of fresh pie. Ooh, and a dangerous undernote of snake, I believe. Very nice. But that's just not the sort of aroma that hooks the big fish. Talk to your grandmother. I'm sure she has a fragrance recipe she'll share with you. Did you say there might not be a maiden's feast? The sea? She is angry this day. I'm trying to build the offering arena, but the waves keep washing it away. There has to be a Maiden's Feast. I need to kill Mog Chathra. Yes, yes, we all want to fill Mog Chathra. But when he comes here and sees no offering arena, he might pass us by, or worse. Hey, about your bucket hat. What? What about it? Can I have it? Certainly not. It's an integral part of my soon-to-be mayor look. Why do you build the offering arena so close to the ocean? Uh, because that's where the sand is. Hey, about your bucket hat. What? What about it? Can I please have it? I like your manners, but I like my hat more. So, you're running for mayor of Shellmound? My hopes and dreams, just sand castles built too close to an angry sea. I had hopes, child, but this construction debacle under my marshalship has washed them all away. Hey, about your bucket hat. What? What about it? It looks terrible on you. It might cost you the election. Please, whom am I to trust? My highly paid stylist? Or a girl wearing half a dress. When is Mog Chathra supposed to get here? Any minute! So much to do! Hey, about your bucket hat. What? What about it? It looks great on you. Very fancy. What? Fancy? But I'm a man of the people. I'm never going to win this election if I come off as haughty and elite. Here, take this away from me. Thank you, child. I'm firing my stylist tomorrow. Better let you get back to the feast. Yes, yes. These maidens aren't going to serve up themselves. Watch out for the crosswind! Oh, driftwood. So smooth. These seagulls seem to really like fish guts. Looking at this chum trough makes me really happy I grew up in a baking town instead of a fishing town. I just hope my baking town is still standing. Hi, you maidens getting ready for the Maiden's Feast? I want to be in the Maiden's Feast. Of course you do, poor thing. But shell maidens are chosen only after a long period of qualifying events. Also, our dads are pretty powerful. Also, can I tell you something? Just as a friend. Oh my god, yes, just as a friend. You just don't smell right, girl. Oh, I'd want a friend to tell me that. Hey, can I have some of that perfume? <laughs> That's not perfume. That's a proprietary luring compound known as Beast Hooker. It's irresistible to Mogs. Hey, can I have some of your Beast Hooker? That's better. But no, you can't. <laughs> Sorry. It's her secret sauce. How about just one little squirt? Sorry. If I'm not going to give any to my best friend, Drusilla, I'm certainly not going to give any to you. I said I don't want any. I don't use performance enhancers. Nice costumes. Thanks. Our dads made them. They're the best fishermen in the village, so they're pretty good at tying lures. We had to use every hook in town. 
But it was worth it. Isn't somebody gonna miss those hooks? Not as much as they're gonna miss us. You're gonna make me cry, girl. Hey, maidens, I'm going to kill Mog Chathra. Ha! Not half as hard as I'm gonna kill it. I'm already killing it in this outfit, just standing here. You maidens nervous? Yeah, nervous that Marshall Dune isn't gonna get the offering arena ready before Mog Chathra gets here. Oh, I can't believe our dad's donated so much to his campaign. Don't you guys ever wonder if there's another way? To save the town, I mean. Um, this is how it's always been done. Yeah, they figured out how to do it a long time ago, so we wouldn't have to think about it. See you maidens later. Ciao! Stranger approaches. Not so fast. Darn. All out of holy tear gas. Use the staff. Oh, yeah. Halt. But the dead eye god sees no one. Who are you two? I am Dead Eye Dawn. And this is Dead Eye Courtney. Hi. What is this place? The Dead Eye Pyramid. Tomb of the Dead Eye God. As if you didn't know. Can I go inside? You wish to invade our holiest of shrines? Why? Uh, I don't know. It just looks cool. It does? We wouldn't know. We're blind. Oh, sorry. But no one enters the Dead Eye Pyramid. No one. Well, unless... What? Well, if she could solve the riddle of Yorn. Oh, yeah. If she could solve that, then she'd definitely be worthy. Psh, no problem. Who's the Dead Eye God? The Messiah from the sky. Bringer of miracle objects. Someday he will rise to return our sight and begin the Battle of Volgantol. What's the Battle of Volgantol? The final battle between humans and mobs. The end of our entire age. Hmm, sounds promising. Did your god bring any miracle objects that were like weapons? The kind that could take down a giant monster before it destroyed your home village? Our god had such power and more! Probably. I mean, really, we don't even know what half the stuff in there does. Hey, can I get you guys something? Like what? Some more holy tear gas? Oh yeah, here. Just fill that up for me if you could. Thanks! Did you say you lost your sight? Yes, that happens when you blind yourself. Oh. If the dead eye god has no need for sight, then neither do we. Huh. Um, could you remind me how the Riddle of Yorn goes one more time? You always take us down. When we are in our prime, devour your sweet rewards, yet I'll return in time. A child of mine will rise out of his rotten bed, up from a hidden pit long after I am dead. Whoa. Yeah. Bring us a solution and you may enter the pyramid. Bye. <laughs> Sense you later. all out of holy tear gas. Come to me, old chum. 
I mean, when is this not going to come in handy? Hey, Bella. Do you know what rises from a rotten bed? No, but it sounds like one of those fruity riddles my ex-girlfriend Becky was into. Man, I do not miss her. Hey, about this art. Yeah? Where'd you get it? I bought it from this slightly shady girl from Shell Mound. Said she was selling it to get money to move out of town. Aren't you bothered by its elitist themes? I probably would be, if I had such a superficial understanding of the work. How do you know it's hanging right side up? Because the dude's little feet go on the bottom, duh. Can I have it? No way, man. That thing's vintage. What is it? Well, you know. It's abstract. It's kind of a tone poem, really. Uh-huh. I find it does some interesting things with the space between viewer and image. Okay. I like how it matches your decor. Decor? I don't have a decor. The purpose of art is not decor, man. Why do you have it up then? I only had it up there ironically, but I was actually getting sick of it. If you like it, just take it. Really? Okay. So you're a woodworker. Could you make me something? Like what? Something to make me smell attractive to monsters? Well, I have always liked the smell of sawdust, but I don't think that's what monsters go for. The maidens of Shell Mound usually have some family recipe for that, don't they? How about a nice three-legged stool? Hmm, yeah. I haven't done a stool in so long. Okay, make me a stool. I'd love to. If only I had some wood. Catch you later, Curtis. Beware the trees. 